Hello and welcome to another unboxing. In this video, we are going to take a look at the Sons of Behemoth King Broad. Broad? Like Broad Sode? Huge thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this box and this brand new model. Uh, very, very excited for this. Uh, he's huge and... Yeah, I mean, I really dig the little the little creepers that are crawling all over them. I kind of wish there were more of them on the model. Just kind of like, you know, like the great unclean one. But anyway, big old model coming up for pre-order as of the posting of this video. And yeah, of course, it looks like he is um, like an extra frame for the giant. Because in this box, you can assemble it as, you know, various uh, configurations of the giants. But if you're buying this model, why are you not using obviously this frame right but uh, obviously he comes with you know obviously the other uh frames for the giants uh which is really cool i mean extra bits extra parts great for conversions great for you know having some fun but yeah let's dive in i'm gonna grab my trusty rusty knife and let's see if we can't just get into this box without actually hurting myself and if my dull blade will actually find an edge here we go we're we're getting in there oh we're all over the place here Get into the cellophane. It's like Christmas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. All right. So King Broad. Let's dive into the box. How do we get in the box? How do we get in? How do we get in? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Try not to tear the box up. Not that it really matters, but you know. There we go. Feels like a pretty standard. Uh, cardboard box it's got the little shelf inside as well oh my gosh it is huge so right on top we've got the instruction booklet and it feels like a pretty hefty booklet it's got all the various configurations of giants yes that's right I said giants and yeah look at that get all the different configurations so you buy this one model you can configure it up any which way but I mean if you're getting it for King Broad what is it I'm, am I saying that right Broad 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 Zode and yeah I mean he looks like a pretty involved build lots of details I imagine maybe this is oh yeah yeah this is giving you the other options as well for the various builds so you can build all the giants out of this kit but if you're picking him up picking them up for King Broad yeah, you're gonna assemble this guy as King Broad. And then of course it has all the rules. And that is the instruction booklet, all of the frames. Ho o o o li e mo o li. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, I've got parts locked up here. Come on, separate. I don't wanna wreck anything here. It's all these little fiddly bits. Where is that going? There we go. Let's give it a sniff. Mmm, smells like new plastic. Yeah, I really dig all the details. Wow. Very, very cool. Whole bunch of frames. I assume this is the King Broad frame. No, this looks like the big bell or something, right? I've not assembled one of these giants myself, so I could not tell you... Uh, which parts are which I would assume not all of the parts um, like this feels like the generic body but there's extra feet and toes there's <laughs> all sorts of crazy bits to this a big old belly to him boop 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 poke the belly yeah it's very very cool S frame here. Oh, this is the net and everything like that. Yeah, look at that. Hopefully you guys can see all these details here. It's kind of hard to get the whole frame in the shot as there is so much here. All the different heads, all the options. Oh, even a little dead duder. <laughs> Poor dead duders. <laughs> if you're going to be a duder, don't be a dead duder. That's pretty darn cool. The last frame. Oh, this is, I think, the King Broad frame. Yeah, this looks like the King Broad frame. Yeah. So the bottom frame is the man himself. You know what? Here, let's move this part of the box. We also get his base, of course, which I dropped. So we also get the nice big base. And we get his, here's his head. 
Is that another option for his head? Oh, he's got an arm hanging out there. Because that's his head, right? He's got the big beard. Yeah, he's got the eye patch. Yeah. Here's a staff or his hammer. Really, really cool. I assume this thing gets draped over his back. Yeah. So much detail in these things. Holy. Very, very cool. Oh, they have the little imper dudes, the little creepers. Ha, <laughs> the little creepers. Very, very cool. But yeah, that's that's King Brode. He is five frames in total. He, he's got the King Brode frame. There's a little half frame here with like this bell and other details. Like I could not tell you what all this is. This other frame here with hands and looks like some weapon options, some other details. Another frame with the details and other heads. So you can conf you can configure it up in whichever giant you want. And then this other frame that has all of the body parts attached to it. And yeah, that is King Brode. Brode so. But yeah, that's it. That's the unboxing. Uh, very, very exciting. Big thank you to Games Workshop for sending me a review copy of this. Huge thank you to all my patrons for without your support, these videos would not be possible. And a huge thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. I've also turned on the memberships on this channel. So if you click down below, you'll see the join button. A huge thank you to everybody who does that. And if you're not able to support monetarily, thumbing up the video, liking, following, subscribing, commenting, ringing the bell, all help the channel as well. And all it takes is a couple clicks of a button and you're helping me out a great deal. And so a huge thank you to everybody who does that. Take care of your brushes. They'll take care of you. And I will see you in the next exciting unboxing. Did we give it the sniff test? Oh, let's, late, let's do a late sniff test. I'll, I'll sniff his belly. Why do belly buttons often have that smell? Just wondering. No, it doesn't smell like it though. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in the next one.